All right, we are back to doing it again. I'm just, I'm actually, st <laughs> I actually started recording very early today, um, because I was like, hey, you know, it's probably not super conducive to like playing a, a long RPG. Waiting to do it at one o'clock in the morning? <laughs> probably not good idea. Probably not the best thing to do. So I started. I started like eleven today. Um, not at night, 11 in the morning, uh, and I've, I've just been kicking it, so I, off, uh, um, off video, I, I, uh, switched a few things around, I gave Ramu back to, uh, Red, I gave Barret nothing, because Barret is just gonna go berserk anytime I have him in my party because I gave him the berserk ring, so he'll just be attacking and doing crazy damage. Um, I gave, uh, I did end up giving uh, Choco Mog, Choco and Mog to um, Yuffie just because she's a ninja. She's got that wind already. She started with something literally called Wind Slash, uh, and it just it just fits. I, I, just, I just think her having a goofy thing like that fits. I mean, for Pete's sake, the Moogle is wearing a bandana. Come on. Um, uh, and then I gave Titan, actually, to Kate Sith. Because Kate Sith is a, is a big boy, and Titan is also a big boy. And I think it's funny to imagine Kate Sith. It's a weird feline robot. Um, summoning a giant rock man from the Earth's crust. I think that's cool. Uh, right now, a Cloud is rocking. I also gave everybody their equipment, except I didn't end up equipping Barret with the enemy launcher. All I did was give him more materia slots, and I don't have a, like almost any materia on him right now. I only have like passive materia on him. So if I get more passive materia, then I would definitely add that to him. I do need to go back, since I have money, I will eventually need to go back and buy the HP and MP materia, and then to have those. Um, I wonder if those stack. Probably, they probably don't stack, but uh, give Barret one of those. Uh, and then just, just have the MP materia for if somebody has an extra slot and I don't need anything else there. It's, it's, it's a good passive materia to have. Um, I did give, I did give Cloud Odin. Odin doesn't have an element, which I think is interesting. Um, if I put gravity on the elemental thing, does that give me more gravity damage? Like, does, does that give my weapon gravity damage? Because if that is the case, I might swap these around. Give myself all lightning again, because, come on. Come on, but uh, and then put Demi there because that would just be cool. Um, however, we also put added effect on. Uh, we put Odin onto added effect, which means that my attacks now have a chance to instantly kill people. Uh, rivaled only by what eventually getting Hades, where Hades has a chance. You have a chance to do like six different status effects at random. That that's cool. I like that. Um found out some things we got a lot of stuff and now we're finally gonna head to the basement after I check two things that I always keep forgetting to look up okay so I was right about that not that I think like many I don't I mean I, not, not that I think that many people are, are going to be weak to gravity but I just think it's interesting to also be doing gravity damage um, with my attacks. Like, I think that's just, that's a very interesting thing to be able to do. And now I got, now I have all bolt, all lightning again, which, as we remember, uh, carried me through the, the first half of the game. So, <laughs> so it all works out. Uh, and then also I was right about death blow. So apparently it lowers the accuracy of the weapon. It doesn't just cut the accuracy in half. It, like, lowers it by, by like, two-thirds. 
Um, it had like like two thirds of the accuracy it would normally have. Um, but I'll turn it. But it it is a guaranteed crit, and crits do double damage. So that's pretty good to me. Uh, let's do this. Let's see what this is. This will do. Um, no damage. That that's what that'll do. Nice. I like it. I, I don't just like it. I love it. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, gang. Beat him up. Oh, no. Uh, save that. Yeah, def definitely save that. Oh, I forgot, I don't need to just spam magic on this guy, especially since he's not, like, very weak to magic. I can actually hit him with people, I, I just was just missing a bunch. He- it's probably harder to hit him when he's up again. Like, look at that, 736 of damage. 736 of damage! Crazy. <laughs> what would be amazing about having gravity, uh, on the weapon is if- I, I know this is definitely not how it works, but- it, if this is how it worked, then it would be stupid. Um, but if having gravity on the weapon made it to where my attacks do, on top of the, the base damage, they also do percent health damage, like, that would be... That would be amazing. <laughs> totally not how it works. Okay. <sighs> Remember this from the flashback. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous because we just had a fight and it was the first, it was the first, like, not screwing around, not me screwing around fight where I actually died. Um, like, legitimately. Um, mainly because I, I didn't learn fast enough what it was all about. But, uh. Keep defending, Eris. <coughs> oh, I want, I want to hang on to that limit. Actually, uh, Tifa and, and Cloud are about to get the limits too, which is pretty awesome. Nice. They've leveled up so much. Oh, something else I noticed when I was swapping uh, my party members around and equipping things to them. I didn't equip Kate Sith with this weapon, but I'll have to do that later. Um, oh, a bat. I haven't fought a bat yet. Shall be having Aeris do some magic. Just to... No, don't beat up Cloud. Oh, she beat up herself. Uh, that's a little goofy. No, don't blood suck. It gained back 21 HP. We'll never kill. We'll never kill him at this rate. Um. Oh yeah, but when I was swapping it, uh, my other party members around, I noticed they weren't level 25 anymore. Some of them, most of them were above 26. I think everybody was above 26. Everybody was like at least 27 or higher. Um, which. Shows to me that they actually do get some of the experience um, from even if they're not actively in the party, which is awesome. I, I really like that. I, I kind of wish it was just a one for one thing, because like, because like in Tales, in the Tales games, like Tales of Symphonia and stuff, you have tons of party members in all of those games, uh, and you know you don't use everybody all the time. But then, but for story reasons, you end up having to switch to certain ones of them sometimes. Um, so having that one-for-one -one exchange of, H of of experience, even if they're not in the party, is really nice. It's really useful. Um, so you don't have to worry about people getting behind. Uh, I'll still, me personally, I'll still be switching people out in, in this one. 
Hmm. Gee. Oh, this music though. This music's kind of kind of creepy. It's good though. It's like it's definitely really good. Bolt on one enemy, Aeris. You need to catch up. How about bolt on two enemies and it does much less damage than when you used it? How about that, Aeris? <laughs> Yo, there wasn't even normal battle music playing in that fight. It was just the same background music. That's the first time that's happened. Okay. Basement room. There's a bunch of coffins. There's a bunch of skeletons. But one of these coffins isn't part of the background. I'm sure this will be totally fine. To wake me from the nightmare. <gasps> Who is it? Vincent? His name is Vincent, isn't it? Jeez. I don't know you, you must leave. You're having a nightmare. How bad was your dream? Um, hey guys. Oh wait, is this what the key let me get into this room? Specifically? Cause I know Vincent's not, Vincent is optional. <laughs> hey, guys, oh, are we just gonna casually talk to him? We're not gonna point out the fact that he's sleeping in an enclosed coffin? <laughs> A nightmare? My long sleep has given me time to atone. What? What are you saying? I have nothing to say to strangers. Get out. This mansion is the beginning of your nightmare. You can say that again. Actually, yeah. Do you know something? I'm gonna talk about Sephiroth, yeah. Like you said, this mansion is the beginning of a nightmare. No, it's not a dream, it's for real. Seth Sephiroth has lost his mind. He found the secrets hidden in this mansion. Sephiroth. You know Sephiroth? <laughs> I like to think this is the, like, when two people realize that they have something in common, like, oh my gosh, you like that band too? <laughs> but it's about something terrible. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you know Sephiroth? And I, now Cloud and Vincent are best friends. Ooh. Ooh, all the grace of a ballerina. You start first. That's how it was. So Sephiroth knows he was created five years ago and about the Genova Project. He was missing, but has just recently reappeared. He's taking many lives and is seeking the promised land. Now it's your yeah, now it's your turn, bud. Sorry. I can't speak. Hmm. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Hearing your story is yet another sin for me. More nightmares shall come to me now than I previously had. Now, please leave. You still here? <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, we're still here. <laughs> I like how it just fl flew back off. Did I say the wrong thing? I know with Yuffie, you had to say like a, the right combination of, of, of responses. Um. Did I say the wrong thing with Vincent? Was I not supposed to tell him everything? I feel like I'm supposed to relate to each other, right? <laughs> um, like that would be the best thing to do. Maybe I'm thinking too, like being social 101. This isn't really applicable to that, I think. Good night. Who are you? Who are you? At least tell us your name. I was with Shinra Manufacturing and Administrative research 
also known as the Tokes. So this is the guy that was mentioned in the letter. Hey. Nah, bud, your name is Vincent through and through. Vincent, are you a vampire? He said he needs to atone. So he must have broken off from the Tokes when they got it, um... When they got, uh... They started going down a bad path, so... Vincent. The Tokes. Formerly of the Tokes. I have no affiliation with Shinra now. Hey, join the club. Uh, so I'm ex-soldier. Uh, no, ex-member of Soldier. That's Tifa. Sephiroth killed her dad and burned down our village. That's Aerith. She's an ancient. Uh, Sephiroth is after her. Actually, Shin was also after her. Everybody's after her because she's an ancient. Uh, Barret is a member of Avalanche, rebel group against Shinra. We have Red. He's a dog. And Yuffie's just, uh, just here looking for materia. So, you know, if you're worried about not fitting in... Oh, and, and Kate Sith is a animatronic fortune teller. So, you know, if you're worried about not fitting in, uh, welcome to the club. <laughs> and you? Cloud, formerly of Soldier. You are also with Shinra. And do you know Lucretia? Who? Lucretia. Actually, actually repeated himself. <laughs> the woman who gave birth to Sephiroth. Oh, that's not Genova? Wasn't Genova Sephiroth's mother? That isn't completely wrong, but just a theory. He was born from a beautiful lady. That lady was Lucretia. She was an assistant to Professor Gast on the Genova Project. Beautiful Lucretia. An assistant to Professor Gast of the Genova Project. Oh, man. he doesn't mean literally gave birth to, like, 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 created him. The human experiment? There's no way to cancel the experiment. I couldn't stop her. That was my sin. I let the one I loved, the one I respected most, face the worst. So the, punish so the punishment was sleep. That's weird. Vincent, let me sleep. <sighs> well, it let us name him, which I, I, I feel like that means we did it correctly, but I'm going to check to make sure because I really want to make sure I get everybody. All right, so I just have to leave, and then when I'm exiting the basement, he will come and find me, so. For now, we'll leave him to his rest. See Project Specimen B Codec. Let's have the beaker, let's get out of here. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. <laughs> Is that actually him this time, though? Because when we, when, last time we found him on the boat, he was a ghost. Right? So, like... Being here brings back memories. Are you going to participate in the reunion? I don't even know what a reunion is. Genova will be at the reunion. Genova will join the reunion, becoming a calamity from the skies. You mean she wasn't an ancient? What do you mean she wasn't an ancient? I see. I don't think you have the right to participate. I will go north, past, past Mount Nibble. If you wish to know, then follow. Union. Calamity from the skies? Oh. Did you throw materia at me? <laughs> what, what, 
does that destruct? Oh, okay. So he's going to Mount Nibble. He's going. He's going north past Mount Nibble. So meaning we probably have to go to Mount Nibble first. Escapee, report number four. Other bees whereabouts is currently unknown, but pursuit is necessary. Due to his diminishing consciousness, waiting further instructions. Escapee. Escapee report number two. Description at the time of capture. A former member of Soldier. No effect could be detected from either Maker Radiation Therapy or Genova on him. B. Regular number. Oh, I see. Soldier number, regular number, and then we fought lost number. Interesting. Just an escapee that they never caught. Well, no, he, he, they locked him up in that, that safe. Reaction to Genova detected. Escapee report number one. Next month, next day, two escapees were located near Midgar. Two escapees. Escapee report number three. Status. A shot for resisting. B escaped during the A's resistance. Shot for resisting. And then the other one. B escaped. And then... B's whereabouts unknown, but the pursuit is unnecessary due to his diminishing consciousness. Awaiting further instructions. Is this about Vincent? Is he the one who escaped and then, um... Lucretia, he was talking about? Got shot? Former soldier. No, no effect to be detected from either Maker Radiation Therapy or Genova on him. Hmm. Reaction to Genova detected. Interesting. What the heck? Okay, wait, what, what does Destruct do? De-barrier, de-spell, death. It eventually casts death. <coughs> right. Right, 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 okay. De-barrier, de-spell. I'm assuming that means... Well, here, let me... Wow. A lot of, a lot of stat changes. It's on this one. Now, now, now we're getting to things that lower defense? Oh, jeez. Um... Uh... Magic. Destroys the function of any barriers. Okay. Interesting. Um... I mean, I want a Suna, I want Resist. I really want a Suna. Uh... Do that instead. Dang, big hit. Ooh! Got, got past 300 MP. That was pretty good. I have confusion, Tiva. Why not? <laughs> okay, we know where to go now. I thought we were gonna get into a fight. I was a little, I was a little worried, a little scared. <coughs> oh, cut.
Ugh. What am I looking at? Ugh. Why is it zoomed in? I don't want to know. What is this thing? Ouch. Yang. Like, like, what the heck, man? <laughs> this, this is, this thing is screwed up. Getting <laughs> like an actual fight or flight response. It has... It's taking a lot less damage now. Um... It has Heo in the back. Oh. Yang's happy. So Ying and Yang, okay. He's happy now because Ying is is dead off of him. Yang's happy. Jeez, yes. <laughs> about that. That was so strange. That was a very strange and- wait. If I go with you, will I meet Hojo? Certainly might, yeah. Don't know. But after him and Sephiroth, so I guess sooner or later. Lucretia. You're a little edgy there, Vincent. You'll fit right in. <laughs> Alright, I've decided to go with you. What? You're coming with us? Being a former toke, I may be of help. Alright then. Hey, Achievement unlocked, Vincent. Heck yeah. <coughs> Dang, dude's level 31! <laughs> well, I need to have him in here because I need to see what's... What's up? Hey, wait a minute, you're a gunslinger? I have a gunslinger too. Here, check out my gunslinger. <laughs> All right, Vincent, what do you got going? You have nothing. You do have a silver armlet, which is pretty good, though. Um, well, no, yeah, you don't have anything at the moment. We'll need to buy you some stuff, bud. Uh, oh, hey, I do. I've been hanging on to this peacemaker for ya. For a while. <laughs> He's got a lot of lot of HP. Okay, so I did see that there was an interesting thing about his limit. Galian beast, yeah. Tones into a Galian beast. And then I heard you can't control him at that part when he tones into that, but I'm assuming that's just like a buff, like a general buff all around. That's pretty sick. Nah, that's pretty exciting. Um, I mean, yeah, so at the moment... Don't have any materia to give you. Um, I 
So right now... Chocopolo and, and Kappa. Uh, oh yeah, what, what, so... What are you good at? <laughs> Decent attack. Um, magic 58. You're good at magic. Okay. Like, you're already, like, pretty good at magic. Okay. Okay. Duly noted, duly noted. Not a lot of defense. Good magic attack, good magic defense, yeah. Um... Yeah, okay. So, so you're, you're basically another caster sort of character. Awesome. Oh, yeah, you, you don't have another thing. You can attack, and use items, and that's about all you got. I mean, hey, sec. That's awesome. Okay, now we have a way to move forward. Um... Go, Vinza. Yeah, I, w I was for a split second. I was like, since you don't have any materia, I could equip the. Um, I was like, I could equip him with uh, the Berserker Ring. But, considering he has such a high magic stat, and Barret has a trash magic stat, I feel like that would be sort of, um... That would be kind of, kind of missing a lot of Vincent's potential. Wait, if Barret's berserked, can I not use limits on him? Barret has some really hard-hitting limits. That would kind of suck if I couldn't use limits at all on him. Okay, well, we need to exit that way, but let's... You have... yeah, you just have the most basic stuff, because you're basic and you should feel bad. Um, <laughs> jeez. Uh, okay, let's... Let's rest. We need a town. We need, like, a good town. I think I might do a complete overhaul of everybody's materia, unequip everybody with everything, and then go person to person and be like, Okay, you should have this, you should have this here. Um, for now, let's get you back in here only because you have one summon, you have one summon. Oh crap. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Let's. Who should who should be in? Uh, Kate Sith, get on in here, cause you haven't been in here in a, in a hot second. And then I'll bring Yuffie back in, cause yeah, everybody else is is pretty high up there. But Barrett and Kate Sith need some love. Okay, I suppose let's go this way. Um, actually, no. First, let's save, cause we just uh, experienced a very decent chunk of this game chunk uh, but we got a whole character that's a pretty good that's a pretty big deal <sighs> okay Jeez. 
Dang, they were just slapping Cloud around. <laughs> So much. Oh my gosh, Cloud's gonna die. Why are they only hitting Cloud? They were only hitting Cloud that whole time. What the heck? <laughs> that was ridiculous. Jeez. Um. Yeah, we can use some... Stuff. Uh, you know what? I I will. I think I'm gonna rearrange everybody's material right now. Um. Then I think I'll cut it out. Cause. Oh no! Actually, you know what? Been uh. Been at it for for a hot second. Actually. I think actually I'll just. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna save here. I'm going to... Um... And then in between here and the next thing, I, uh, in the next episode, I'm going to rearrange everybody's materia, since that's gonna probably take a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, okay, now we know... <sighs> we recruited another guy. Who actually has reasons uh, for wanting to hang with us? That I'm just scouting for materia, like the Yuffie. Um, we know where Sephiroth is going, and we know that we're beginning to figure out what exactly he's after at the moment. Some sort of aerial scourge or whatever he wants to turn Genova into. But hopefully, we'll be able to find him in time and stop him.